Here's how to change a wheel on a Ford. If you've got a puncher, or need to change a wheel. Look in the boot. Here's the spare wheel. It's secured by a bolt. To the left of the spare wheel is the jack. Let's get the jack out. Okay, so I've got the jack. I've got the wheel brace, which is also the device for making the jack go up. You can take the slack out of the jack by doing that by hand, so you can get it up to approximately the height of the car. If we look underneath the side of the car, you see that the arrow points to a gap in the plastic. And the gap in the plastic is a metal ridge running along the length of the car. This is, locates on the slot on the jack. Put the jack under there and just take the slack. All Fords equipped with alloy wheels have a locking device that prevents the wheels being stolen. This you'll find with your tool kit. It locates on a special device on the wheel, which has got a round domed head. You place that on there and then you'd undo the wheel. You must make sure that you loosen off the bolts on the wheel whilst the weight is still on the wheel, otherwise the wheel will rotate. You do that for all five wheel bolts. Once you've loosened off the wheel bolts to a certain extent, you can now jack the car up. You'd use the wheel brace on the nut on the jack, which is the same size as the nut on the car's wheels. You can go so far by hand, but then when it starts to take the weight of the car, you'll have to use the wheel brace. It's quite a long process, so we'll fast forward that bit. So the car's in the air, the wheel's free. I've loosened off all of the wheel bolts using this wheel brace. I've used a special device to undo the locking wheel key. All these are loose now, so all I've got to do is quickly spin them undone. So now we've got all the wheel bolts off, you'll find the wheels are heavier than you think. So it can take a little bit of an effort to remove from the car. So now we've got the wheel off, we can get the spare wheel. Out of his cubby hole in the boot. Now as it says on the spare wheel, 50 miles an hour maximum. It's a different size wheel to the other wheels in the car, so you can't go batting down the motorway at the legal limit. It's a 50 miles an hour job to get you to a tyre fitting bay. So, you line your wheel up. <laughs> Fast forward that bit. On with the wheel. Get one bolt. So it's just holding it from wobbling around. Now what I tend to do is make sure these are fairly tight whilst the car is in the air. You don't want to be too energetic because you could pull the car off of the jack and nobody wants that really. Use your locking wheel device. Again, just nip it up and now you can let the car down. So now the weight of the car is on the wheel and we can tighten the wheel bolts. I tend to do opposite ones, so you do that one, that one, that one, that one, then last but not least, making sure you've got the wheel device on there, the locking wheel one, and then you can just take the slack from the jack using your fingers, slide that out, pop everything in the boot and go for the tyre bay.